Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. I am certified life coach Talia Sage using my natural gifts of intuition combined with the science of life coaching to help you navigate through the ups and downs of life in order to help you create your best life possible. Today's video message will be titled, I want to say, it'll be titled, Let Me Gas You Up. Um, it basically comes down to what is great about you. Before we get into the messages, please give this video a big old thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It lets YouTube know that you like what you see and that you want to see more of it. And it helps me to accomplish my goal, which is to reach and help as many people as possible to live more peaceful, balanced lives. So as I was saying, today's video message will be, let me gas you up. And it will be about what makes you great things that you may already know about yourself, things that other people see in you that you maybe don't see in yourself yet, and also your potential, the great things that you can step into if you release limiting, limiting beliefs and um, painful experiences of the past. Just the ways in which the universe sees you the ways in which the divine, your angels, whoever you believe in, sees you that you may not fully recognize about yourself. So today we're going to have three group options, group one, two, and three. Group one is the selenite heart crystal. Group two is the selenite tower. And group three is the selenite plate with the sacred geometry. So the reason I chose selenite today is because it is a clearing crystal. It helps to clear away old energies and that's really the intention that I have for this video, to clear away any doubt that you have, to help you rebuild or restore confidence in yourself and your abilities and what the world sees in you. As usual, this is a general reading, so take what resonates with you, leave the rest for someone else. Many people will be watching each of these piles, so not everything in each pile may resonate with you. If it does, awesome for you, then it's sort of like a personal reading for you. But if it doesn't, that's okay. It doesn't mean that what the cards are saying is wrong. It just means that that message is meant for someone else. The timestamps will be listed in the description box below. Feel free to find your timestamp, click on it, and then it will fast forward you to your messages. If you're drawn to more than one group, that's okay. Just know that that means that you have messages across multiple different groups. So take your time, use your intuition to discern which group or multiple groups is calling out to you and I will get started with group one. Hello group one, if you chose the selenite heart, these will be your messages of what makes you so great. Um, first off, I have to say that this crystal was gifted to me. And I feel like, well, gifted to me by someone with a really big heart, first off. And I feel like that is who you are. Even if you don't feel as though you give enough um, or even have much to give, what you do put out there is a lot. And it helps other people to feel loved. And you, your heart is a gift to this world and to the people around you. You might be a very caring person in some, in many ways. Um, you might, <laughs> you might be, I, I keep being drawn to animals. So you might be someone who just prefers animals over people, but that doesn't mean that you're still not caring and giving to people. Um, but you might be someone who just 
is very caring in some way. You might be really into taking care of the animals or taking care of the planet or the people around you. You have a big heart and that is very commendable. Very commendable. Okay, um, I'm going to pull some tarot cards. I've already pulled some oracle cards that we will get into for some more characteristics of you, but I just wanted to pull some tarot to see if there's any physical qualities that may come up or anything else that we need to know. What makes group one so great, Spirit? I just heard the phrase, give the shirt off your back. So you might be that sort of person where you will go out of your way to help someone in need. Um, especially if it's, I feel someone who is in a situation that you've been in in the past and it pulls at your heartstrings you know any any sort of situation that seems to pull at your heartstrings you just seem to be be very giving okay so the first card that came out she's a little bit naked so i'm just going to get a crystal to cover her up because youtube does not like nakedness YouTube is a prude, but your first card out is the world. I'm being drawn to the four symbols here. It's reminding me of north, south, east, and west. I feel like you are just someone who's very aware. Um... You're really aware of the world around you, of people, of uh, what other people are feeling, what other people may be going through. You're aware of maybe worldly issues that a lot of other people are just sort of blind to, or they just, you know, they're so focused on themselves that they don't see the things that are going on around them or care to. You may be a female, you may have brown hair, um, maybe even long hair at that. You can be an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Taurus, or a Leo. You don't have to be, take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. Hmm. I'm being drawn to her eyes. So when my um, middle child was born, let you see her eyes better. When my middle child was born, anyone that really saw her said that she just had this piercing stare, this piercing gaze, like she was looking through your soul. And I feel like that is a quality that you possess. That's why you're so aware. It's like you can see into people's souls. You can see the good in people, even if they're not really doing good things around you. You can feel like you can see people's potential. And no matter how many times you get hurt, you still offer people that unconditional love. Uh, you have that unconditional love for people in general. You believe overall and the good of people. And that's a quality that can really be um, taken advantage of. And you may have had people take advantage of that. But you still having that openness to loving people, no matter what you've gone through, is a really good, great quality about you. All right, let's look at your oracle cards. You have not for you card six garden something lovely will grow from this card 15 expectations don't seek anyone's approval card 12 gray 
endings are inevitable 37 meditation meditation will transport you to a place of bliss at any desired time of day and freedom i possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness What makes you so great? First off, we have a six here, and this 15 reduces to a six in numerology. Six is that number of unconditional love. That is who you are at your core, no matter how angry you become, no matter how resentful you become, um, discouraged you become. You are unconditional love at your core and you offer that out to the people around you. Even when you are hurting. The chess here is making me think of someone who is very strategic. Um, you have a great strategic mind. You can create things in your mind. Um, you can almost see how And maybe if this is not something that you feel you possess right now, this is something that you could tap into. You could see how different timelines play out. Like with chess, right? You want to be a certain amount of a certain amount of moves ahead. And that is how your mind works or could work if you worked on it. You also have this meditation and the freedom. I possess the power and free will to create my own happiness. That's also to do with your mind. You are a great dreamer, I want to say. You have a great imagination. An imagination um, to let you dream up the impossible. Um, and you have a great mind for manifesting things, even if you don't realize it yet. Garden. Uh, something lovely will come from this situation. You have the ability to grow beyond your limitations, whether or not you see it, whether or not you have already done it. You have the ability, ooh, back to this chess piece, of seeing how things are connected, seeing how those dots are connected, that domino effect of how, what is that? It's a spiritual gift. Um, clairvoyance, clear sight of seeing how, why something had to go the way it did to lead to this moment, to lead to that moment, and what it may lead to in the future. Expectations, we all seek outside approval from time to time, but what makes you great, a great quality that you possess, is that you don't need anyone's approval When it comes to the dreams, yeah, those dreams that you can build inside your head. Like if you dream something, uh, dream something up, it's like you, what is that? The courage, the willpower, the gutsy, is that a word? Like you don't mind just going after it and trying to make things happen for yourself whereas that could stall a lot of people and it's not to say that you have not been stalled in the past being afraid of what people might think of you of what they would judge you for but overall it's like when you are very passionate about something when that heart comes into play for you you will just go after things not waiting for a permission not needing permission And here we go with this endings are inevitable with the world. The world is completion. It is endings leading into beginnings. What makes you great is that you can look past. Oh, look, we got the ship in the sky like Peter Pan. First off, you have, you're more in, you're very in tune to your inner child. 
even if you don't realize it. Th that is that dreaming big again. You have big dreams and you have that gift of sight of being able to dream big. So you might have ideas of um, business ideas or inventions. The world needs dreamers and they also need doers and you are both. And when your heart connects to something or when it does connect to that thing that really lights you up, you're going to have no problem going after it. You know how to free yourself from past situations. You're able to let go and keep the faith alive. What else do we have here? We have an owl showing up. You have a lot of wisdom. You're very smart. Whether or not you believe it in yourself or not, it is something that other people see about you. I'm being drawn to the eyes again. I feel like you just have very beautiful eyes. That's something that people notice about you right away. You could possess any of the physical characteristics of any of the people on this card. Now that we have several people showing up, um, the majority of them have longer hair, but you may have short hair. You could be, have, you know, brown hair or blonde hair. It's going to be different for all of you. But what it comes down to is you have a great big heart and you have the propensity, is that the word, to... Be a creator, be an inventor, to help the world keep moving forward. And that is what the universe sees in you. That's what your angels, spirit guides see in you and want you to see in yourself if you don't already. Now we're going to end the reading by pulling out some motivational cards to help you along your way help you build up that confidence. Maybe that should be the title. Let me help you build your confidence. We'll see. We'll see what I end up doing. All right, motivation for group one, please, spirit. Okay, your first card out says, Stop being afraid of what could go wrong and focus on what could go right. Use that brain power that you have, that beautiful, beautiful brain to help you dream of the things and imagine what could happen if everything went right. What could happen if whatever plans you have for yourself went right. Next message. Your next, oh, we have two. The first one says, today I move forward. Today I see each obstacle as an opportunity to learn and grow. Goes perfectly with this, something lovely will grow from this card. And then next you have, today I am at peace. Today, I am at peace with all that has happened, all that is happening, and all that will happen. Goes perfectly with endings are inevitable. And then your final message of encouragement from the universe, spirit, whoever you believe in. All right, it says... Daphne, what pleases us most shapes us. Don't seek anyone else's approval. Goes perfectly with that card. You don't need anyone else's approval to be happy. Follow the things that bring you happiness, that, that light your heart up. 
like I was feeling with this crystal, and that is what will shape you the most and shape you into the person that you want to be. Shape you into bringing more of these qualities out within yourself. So group one, these have been your messages of what makes you so great. If this resonated with you, if it brought you some motivation, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Hey group two, if you chose this selenite wand or selenite tower, these will be your messages of what makes you so great. So we're going to do this reading with some channeled messages from the crystal. I've already pulled some oracle cards that we'll get into in a minute. I will also be pulling tarot to see if we can get some other qualities, maybe physical qualities or... Um, I don't know anything that spirit wants us to know and then we will finish off the reading with some motivational words from the universe so you chose the selenite tower part of what makes you so great I feel like you are the tower you can be very protective of the people around you, of your loved ones, keeping them safe, trying to protect them, shield them from harm. You also have a very strong outer exterior. Um, it could be because of things that have happened in your past, you've had to learn to be stronger. Um, and as I'm talking, a bald eagle just flew outside the window. You're able to see things from a higher perspective from that tower um, that you have built around yourself. I feel like you're able to understand things maybe a bit better than other people. You have a wide point of view. Like you, I don't feel like you're closed-minded. I feel like you have a very open mind about things because you yourself have maybe been through some things, done some things. So you're like, I don't judge. <laughs> and you might judge, right? Because we all judge a little bit. But when it really comes down to it, it's... I'm hearing it is what it is. You might have this quality about you, this air about you of it is what it is. They are who they are. Not saying that it doesn't ever hurt you. I'm being shown Rapunzel and her tower. Um, even though there may th be things about yourself in which you may feel trapped in some ways you are very giving and always open to helping others out of their situations. It doesn't have to be that you do this all the time, but this is a quality about you that people around you like. Or it could also be a quality about you that the universe says that you can grow into because of situations in the past that have built these walls up around you. All right, let's get some other messages with the tarot. I'm being, I'm feeling pressure in my third eye. 
And I feel like that's part of that, um, that equal spirit, that seeing things from a higher perspective that came about for you. Whether you realize it or not, your third eye is very active. It is open. You're able to understand things differently than most people. You're able to see that spiritual side of things along with this 3D material world. Your first card that popped out here is the Page of Cups. You may have paler skin with blonde hair. You may have freckles. That does not have to relate to you, so take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Remember, this is a general reading. I'm being drawn to the legs here. I feel like you have some nice gams, um, strong. Whether or not you believe it, And this fish in the cup. I feel like you're always surprising people. Um, surprising people maybe by your kindness, by um, your views. Surprising people in a good way. That's what I'm seeing. All right. So your oracle cards are thinker. Card 44. Oop. Storm. Card 44. Every hurricane comes to an end. Wow. Intuition. The power of intuition will light your path, providing a connection to the divine. That's that third eye I was feeling. And then patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Once again, um <laughs> wow that's really cool that all seeing that third eye popping up first off okay so you received 44 twice you are someone who was definitely connected in uh 44 is telling me that you are surrounded by mas or ascended masters. That is an ascended master number. You might be interested in looking up 44 angel number and 44 master number. There might be some more clues there for you. The 44 is telling me that you are, whether or not you feel it, the people around you, you make them feel stable. You make them feel secure. You make them feel safe. Exactly what I was getting with that tower message in the beginning. Ooh, I love this. I love how this comes up. Whether or not you feel completely all there in your own mind, this is how you make other people around you feel. And that may come as a surprise to you, like this fish in the cup. I just heard short stature. You might be someone who is not the tallest person. You may not be the biggest, uh, most muscly person, look the most athletic. <laughs> and that, um, I'm not laughing at you. I'm, yeah, not laughing at you. That is, that is what surprises people. Because when they see you, they don't expect to just feel so held, so secure, so safe. But even though your stature might not be very big, you have this big energy about you that just makes people feel good. Feel like they don't have to Ooh, feel like they don't have to worry. I think that's where the, the judgment was coming in. Like, it is what it is. You are accepting of people, perhaps. Um, just really 
two people, you feel very just solid, um, like a rock. And if this is not something that you're seeing in yourself right now, this is something that the universe is saying that you possess inside of you and that you can expand upon. This thinker card wanted to show itself in reverse. And with this cup energy here, it's telling me that you lead with your heart, with your intuition. Um, it's not saying that you don't think things through, you don't think about things, but it's like you are able to look past the logical sometimes, along back with that third eye, and see things from a higher perspective, like, or you just feel it. Claire sentient. Um, you might just get feelings and follow those. You do have a very strong intuition, whether or not you realize it, whether or not you feel like it has failed you in the past. That is an ability, a gift that you are meant to grow within this lifetime. We have the solar plexus chakra here with the patience card. I feel like because of the things that you've experienced, because of the things that you've seen, it has made you a more patient person or it will make you a more patient person as you grow. You might not be very patient with yourself, but I feel like you give more of that grace to people around you, being patient with them allowing them to make their mistakes because we're all human. That might actually be a phrase that you say. We're all human. Along with this storm card here, I feel like you help bring an end to the storms that other people experience. You help them to come out of tough situations. You might be someone who is just really good at speaking to people and making them feel good about themselves, helping them to see the positive within themselves. Once again, that you create that sense of stability, security, safety for people around you. We got legs, legs here, legs there. I can't really see her legs, but there's something about your legs. They are just solid. They are strong. You might be a runner, you might not be. But people like your legs. Okay, let's pull some cards to get some motivational words from the universe to help you build your confidence, to help you um, have the strength, the courage to keep working towards your goals, whatever it is. Your first card says, today I am glowing. Today I have huge amounts of energy and focus to take on any challenge. Another way that you surprise people. You get back up after you're knocked down. More words of encouragement from the universe for group two, please. You might be someone who's interested in going into a healing field and any field could be healing, but it could be tarot, it could be a counselor, it could be an accountant, an artist, um, anything. I feel like whatever you do, you could turn it into healing. You have the power to provide a connection between other people to the divine, to the spiritual world. Whether that's coming just from you encouraging people to help them along their paths or you actually going into some sort of spiritual field. Hmm. Your next card out says you must be the change you want to see in the world. Those kind words, that motivation that you give to everyone else, you're being called to do the same for yourself. Because as you do it for yourself and give it out to others, you're going to create a big change within the world. 
helping to heal other people. Like I said, I was feeling that healing energy. Helping them to see the world, not just from this 3D matrix view, but from a higher spiritual level. And then your last card out, um, Brangipani, you are truly beautiful on the inside and the outside. Final message from the universe. You are. People see that beauty on the inside and the outside of you. I love that. You're working with the Ascended Masters this lifetime. Um, that tells me you have a big mission. And I feel like part of that big mission is to help other people feel safe, help other people feel confident within themselves and find their own stability within their lives. So awesome for you, group two. If this video resonated with you, please leave me a 44 in the comment section. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for being here and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Hey, group three, if you chose this selenite plate with the geometric shapes, these will this will be your messages of what makes you so great. Once again, remember that this is a general reading, so take what resonates with you, leave the rest for someone else. These may not be qualities that you notice within yourself right now. These could be the qualities that the people around you see, or they could also be qualities that the universe sees within you um, as your potential of things that you can unlock, um, new heights that you can reach within yourself. So I've already pulled some oracle cards that we will use to get some insight. I will be pulling some tarot cards to see maybe if there's any physical characteristics or other um, insights that spirit wants to give us that way and then we will finish off with some encouraging messages from the universe to help you on your way okay your selenite crystal hmm Everything is connected. That's what I keep getting channeling messages from your crystal. It's like you have a way of connecting things. Maybe um, a way of connecting things for other people so they can see the full scope of something, see the full scope within themselves perhaps. Um, you're able to see the connections between like just in the world, like that domino effect of this creates this and that creates that and it's just your mind. Like it's, it's hard. It's hard for me to really channel this. Like your mind is just so, are you a genius? Do you have a really high IQ? Like, that's how it's feeling. Like, there's just something there. Something really powerful to do with your mind, to do with... Are you really good at math? Hmm... plate it's like you serve something up too like you serve up knowledge you serve up wisdom to the people around you or maybe something that's coming in the future hmm 
It could be someone who comes from a pretty well-off situation. People may see you as like you've had things handed to you on a silver plate, but what they don't see is how hard you actually work. Or you may not be from a well-off upbringing, but you have built something for yourself to where people almost feel or think that you've had things handed to you on a silver platter. You might be a really good manifester. That might be part of what it is or something that you could step into in the future where people, it's like you just have so much success. You just obtain so many goals that people almost think it's like magic. Like, like you were favored by God. Let's see what your cards have to say. Um, interesting. Let's work with your first, get your first tarot cards out. Oh yeah, that math, the geometry. You might be someone who is really good at math, really good at numbers. You might not even feel like you're all that great with numbers, but you can add things up really well. You can um, make things make sense. Hmm. Six of Wands is your tarot card out. This is the card of victory. What? Once again. People see you succeeding in some area or they will see you succeeding in some area in the future and they feel like, like it's magic. And that is why there's these people sitting around in the background like following this person, waiting to see what they're going to do next. You might have a strong fashion sense or there might be something that you come into in the future once you start becoming more successful and making money. Bottom of the deck energy is the magician. I have not shown the bottom of the deck for any of these groups, but for you, I was drawn to look at it. And then we also have the chariot, another card of success and victory. This is crazy. This is crazy. I'm going to take them all. Once again, the magician with the manifesting. You're able to see how things are connected and manifest things for yourself. You might not feel that right now, but that is a potential that you're able to tap into that the universe sees within you. I feel like you are a go-getter. The, we have the chariot here, which is about movement. We have the six of wands who is on this horse moving. You are a go-getter. No matter what happens, you don't let it hold you down for long. You make things happen for yourself. You have drive, you have passion feel like you have animal instincts, animal magnetism even. People may find you as just very attractive when they see you. Just like there's just something about you. They can't pinpoint it. You could look like similar to any of these people on the card. You might have darker skin. You might have paler skin. Blonde hair, darker hair. I mean, it really doesn't matter here. <laughs> You don't stay down for long and you make things happen for yourself. And that's part of the reason why so many people around you just see you as blessed, see you as protected by the universe, see you as having things handed to you on a silver platter. But what they don't see, like I said in the beginning, is that you make it happen for yourself. I love this. Okay, let's see your oracle cards. You have Never Ending Story, 37. 
by the book 11. Worry, happiness, courage, wings. You never needed those wings to fly. You received more cards than the other groups, by the way. And you have lavender. Surround yourself with love. Okay, group three. Back to this never ending story. That's what I felt before. You don't let things hold you down for long. You might get into slumps. You might get depressed. You might beat yourself up. But it's like you don't know when to quit. You don't know how to quit. Because what's the point in living, right? I feel like that's sort of how you feel about life. What's the point in living if I'm not going to try? You have the courage to keep getting up and following your happiness. I feel like with this worry card, the worry card has to do with the crown chakra. And you might be someone who worries a lot. We all also have this never ending story with her hand on her head, worrying, stressed out about something. But once again, you don't let things hold you down for long. And the worrying is like, you worry about the people around you. You worry about making the world a better place or just making life better for the people around you. And that is partly what motivates you, that care, that heart with this green, with the heart chakra here. You, the 11 tells me that you are a leader. You may play by the rules, but at the same time, you create your own rules within the system. Like create those own rules for yourself. That's how you become the magician. That's how you become this master manifester. Um, whether or not you believe you are there or not, it is something that is in you waiting to come out, waiting to pounce like this animal print. Surround yourself with love, lavender. You make the people around you feel loved. Back to that worrying. You worry about them because you love them so much. And because you are the leader, you are brave enough to put yourself out there over and over again to make things happen. You're not afraid. Once again, you never needed those wings to fly. You're not afraid to rise above your situations, your past situations, and put yourself out there to create the life that you want, to go after your happiness, to create the happiness for your loved ones. I feel like you're this big elephant. You help to remove obstacles from your own life and from your loved ones' lives. You help to, um, what is that, forge new paths, create new paths. We have a tower here. You may have been drawn to group two with the selenite tower if you were i suggest you go watch it but like this card like they're just hanging around chilling this one's you know throwing some popcorn in her mouth that is the vibe that you create for the people around you just making them feel so loved so good you might be someone who likes to light candles um you know create like a spiritual like atmosphere around you if you don't that's okay it does not have to resonate with you take what resonates with you leave the rest for someone else hmm what makes you great is the fact that you're able to rise above any obstacles that come your way, that you love hard, that you are not afraid 
to be the leader and make things happen for you and the people in your life. Whether or not you feel as though you've made anything happen thus far, it's in your destiny to do so. It's in your destiny to do so. I feel like you're going to leave some sort of legacy, whether that is, you know, as simple as just teaching your children how to persevere and never give up and be good people, or that's creating a business that you can pass down to your family, creating some sort of um, legacy that helps to motivate other people and lead other people. Leave something behind that motivates people, leads other people. It's waiting for you. I'm going to pull some final cards to get some words of encouragement um, to help you build your confidence, to help you to not give up, to help you um, just to help you keep moving forward from the universe, from spirit. Words of encouragement for group three. <laughs> As I'm shuffling, I'm noticing this. You have, well, this is 19 reduces to a 10, but 8, 9, 10. This is also a 10. It's like, once again, you keep moving forward. You keep expanding. You keep growing. I feel like you're not someone, like you are a lifelong learner. You might really like to read, just really like to expand your mind, so to speak. And that is part of what makes you great because you don't limit yourself. You don't ever think that you know everything. You're constantly learning. <laughs> Perfect. Your first card says, today I am accepting. Today I will open my heart and listen with an open mind to new ideas and opportunities. As I was just saying, you're constantly learning. That is you. You don't limit yourself. And if you have some limiting beliefs now, you're going to break free of them because there's success, success waiting for you. Okay, words of encouragement. Focus on being productive instead of busy. Keep moving forward. And then you must be the change you want to see in the world. This also came out in group two. So once again, you might have been drawn to watching group two. That's that legacy that I was feeling. It's like there's things that you see within the world, all these things that are connected. And somewhere along the way, you're going to come up with some way to create some change. Once again, whether that's just teaching your children how to be good people to as big and as broad as a business that will help to change people or um, activism that will help to change people. One final card of encouragement for group three. I'm being drawn to the dolphins here. Dolphins are all about playing and um, enjoying life. You might feel like you're a very serious person because your mind is always going, you're always thinking of the next thing. But you're meant to enjoy life. You help other people have a good time and enjoy life. Just like these people over here chilling, having a good time. That's what makes you so great. That's what people like about you. Final message, thank you. Blushing bride, your intentions and heart deserve to be known. 
54.54 on the clock as I say that. That means 9-9. You might be interested in looking up angel numbers 99 and master number 99. Um, and once again, if you were so drawn to do so, watch group three because the ascended masters came out there as well. But you have beautiful intentions and you have a beautiful heart. This is why you worry so much about yourself, about the people in your life, about the state of the world in general. And they deserve to be known, which is why you will be reaching the success at some point in your life. So group three, these are the things that make you great. These are the beautiful things that other people see about you that spirit sees within you to even tap into. And I hope this video has helped you to see it in yourself. 55, 55 on the clock as I say that. You're a powerful person, more powerful than you probably realize. You're going to do some great things. You're going to do some great things. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel if this resonated with you. Leave me a dolphin or elephant emoji down in the comment section just to let me know it resonated with you. Thank you for being here and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.